What's up everybody, a Sparrow with a Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. We are back working on the yet-to-be-named ship, although I'm thinking Knight's Revenge, I think would be a cool name for it. Kind of still holds to the Galvatron's Revenge thing, but makes it kind of our own thing. Um, so as you can see, I've done a little bit more work. I've closed in the thrusters the same way that I did the other side, and I'm kind of leaving it that way for now because I still haven't gotten the feedback from the first episode about that. Those seem to be off for some reason. Not sure what that's about. have to fix that. Um, also, I think I forgot to do it, but I'm going to repeat this pattern, I think, up here as well. Um, and there's a little bit of space in here. As you can see. So if I uh, jump out of creative mode and realize that it's too heavy or there's not enough hydrogen or something like that, we do have a bit more room on the sides, not so much the top, but on the sides for more thrusters or possibly embedding more ion engines in here. I just now thought of that as a way to buffer kind of thing. Um, although this is the lander, so we may want more hydrogen. I'm not sure yet. I'm kind of designing at the moment. Um, I'm terrible with thrusters as far as how many I need, how much fuel I need, etc. and so on. So you guys will have to fill me in on uh, how that looks for fuel efficiency versus the projected mass. I'll, I'll go with that because... I obviously don't know how much weight the ship's going to have, but I can kind of guess the estimate type of thing. Um, but as you can see here, I've been working on the curve to connect... Um, actually, we're going to do it from this side, I think, because the lighting is better. Not by much, but it's better. Um, so I'm working to connect the thrusters. Now, one thing I've noticed is they are either too close or too high. Um, as you can see here, I kind of had to climb the arc more vertically than I'd like because in case you don't remember the original ship it's a far more of a, a, a low angle gradual curve um, so I really didn't want to arc up like this so I did this arc which is a little bit more gradual a little bit better I like it more but as you can see it stops under the thruster so I either need to bring the thruster down to there or bring it out so I can uh, walk the thruster or walk the arc up further and I think I'm gonna probably walk it up further because I feel like in our last episode we kind of settled on this being the direction here so what I'm gonna do first things first uh, we're gonna turn off mirror mode so that we don't accidentally do this on the wrong s or on both sides uh, and then I'm going to separate this grid now I've got a little pod back here, which we're going to dis disable eventually. It's got gyroscopes, uh, reactors, so I should... Okay, this actually flies really well on its own. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to move that out of the way. Um, and then we're going to... I need a merge block somewhere. I think this is going to be the actual connection point. So I think I'm going to put the merge block here. Um, so let's go ahead. It doesn't really matter where it is, to be honest. Um, in fact, I need it to be at the right angle, though. So we're just going to go ahead and slap one right there. Um, and then we're going to build up this to the proper angle. Now, like I said, I could bring it down, but I think I'm just going to bring it up. So we're going to extend this out so that I know where my connection point is. And then I'm basically just going to keep walking this up at two at a time. Now, one thing that I did do, uh, you may not have noticed. Um, I'm going to kind of really quickly just try and explain my process here because it occurs to me that some of you may not be familiar with it. All right, so I think that'll work right about there. Let's see what that looks like. I think that's good enough. I think that'll work. Um, so my process here... Obviously, it just changed because I extended it, but originally I went from the low point and where uh, the connection point was right there and basically made a frame, and then that allowed me to kind of arc. As you can see here, I kind of stayed in the frame. That's when I realized this isn't going to work, 
so I went outside the frame. But one thing I like to do, especially for graduals, is I'm not that great with curves. So what I find makes it easiest is work in increments. So like this is a, a, what I call a three step because it's a step up, but it's three long. Um, so I did a three step, but then like I said here to make it more gradual, I kept that going a bit further than this arc here and then shifted to a two step, which kind of goes up that way. Now, overall, I would like a bit more curve to it. Um, but I just don't know if I want to deal with it or not, or, or re deal with re reconnecting it or messing with it or anything like that. Um, and I think that's going to be okay. I, th I think that's fine. The only thing I would do maybe is go a little bit further out and take the three step up a little higher, um, which I do have to actually build this. I, I went off to the side. So essentially, um, this part is no, actually I'm connected over there. So I got to take this out first. So I kind of built two different things on both sides so that I could kind of play around with and see what, um, what I needed to work with. But now got that out of the way. So I think what I'm going to do is actually build this one up the main middle fuselage thing here. Oh boy. Woo, I almost made a boo-boo. Almost made a boo-boo. Okay, this needs to come down and ah, down and tie into that frame so that when I break this, it doesn't fall apart. <laughs> I almost screwed that up royally. Um, so at the moment, this is just going to be copy. Like we're just going to copy this. But when I get further up to the top, what I may do is actually go a little bit longer because looking at it as I am now, I kind of think that where this starts to curve up further, I kind of want this to go a little bit higher with that gradual curve. I hope this is making sense. Um, it may or may not be, but I'd like it to be maybe at this point, like a halfway point or something, and then arc up a little bit more towards the last minute. Um, maybe what I'll do um, is right here. Maybe now we can start a curve. Let's see how that works. Okay, so I personally think I like that a little bit better. Um, the arc is more gradual and less noticeable, but it still gets kind of curved up like it's supposed to be. So, what we can do now... Um, yeah, I think we can I think we can get away with this. Is we're just going to get rid of this. Come on. Come on. Dagnabbit. <sighs> Sometimes this game <laughs> really aggravating. Um Okay. So that's done. Now we don't have the mirror mode on, so that'll be fine. I'll just have to recreate what I did here as far as figure out um, the actual number of steps. And for this part, what I'm gonna do is grab this. And I don't really need to paint it this way because it's not gonna be the color, I don't think, but just to keep um, standard with kind of what is what as far as this is supposed to be the tie-in to the thrusters and so on. Um, so we're going to do that, and then I should just be able to pilot this one back. And it should snap. In theory. Come on. There we go. Alright. And I will say, I have found merge blocks to be occasionally the saving grace of building because it allows you now we're gonna do something a little bit <laughs> I'm gonna save it first uh, and then once that saves we're gonna then delete the merge blocks and it should now be all one grid again in three yay nothing broke cool um, 
this is a little bit... I, and I don't know yet um, if there will be any um, entry points in here. There might be in terms of we may need to go in and maintenance the thrusters or something like that. But overall, I like that arc. It's a little wider and we can see that from up here. You can see that this is a little bit wider. Um, but since those original ones are still there, now we can actually compare. And I personally think that the left one looks better. It is a little bit more gradual, it's a little further out there, but I think when we get the whole build done and we get more of a fuselage kind of thing going on, I think that will work. I hope. Um, so yeah, now the, now the thing is basically replicating it on this side, which is going to be fun. Okay, so that's done now, and I've got both sides connected up, although I do see a little bit of a remnant here for something. Not sure how you got there, but it's gone now. Um, so yeah, that works. Now the only thing is, I'm still a little iffy on the connection point. As you can see here, this is how I have it connected at the moment. Um, I didn't quite... We may end up removing this and this thruster on the inside of the thruster pod, and it should make up for it because that direction is going to be the other side on the other pod. I hope that makes sense. Um, but because I'm looking at it, and I'm looking at the base down here. Now, in the pictures and stuff, this was not... Um, how do I put this? Gonna remove this as well. I know this is getting kind of iffy on the how the, like this whole pod is held by like two blocks, but you know whatever. Um, I just want to do that in case I end up building on the wrong level or something. Um, but in the pictures, it usually had the thruster arcs essentially being like I don't know somewhere like here. Wow, I can't, I can't click. Uh, somewhere in like there, of the of the main fuselage pod, which means it's got a, it was wide but thin, so we don't have to go too high on this, but we are gonna need to go wide. And if we go wide, even actually, I think it might need to go a little further out. How long is this? This is a total of 21 blocks, which I put 10 blocks on each side. So. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wait, what? That's five. That's four. Oh, ten's even. Okay. So, hmm. If I went out to like here, that would be three away from the front. One, two, three. Like that. That would still be pretty wide. Actually, let's find out where that comes out to. And I do apologize if some of you are bored, basically, um, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Uh, I didn't want to over abuse the whole time lapse episodes. Last episode was a pretty long time lapse and I haven't heard from everybody in the comments, but I have a feeling that most of you are probably not like wanting to do that every episode. Um, See, yeah, that comes in pretty close. So, one of two things. I either need to shorten the width of the band, which I don't really want to do, or I may actually have to make this longer. The, the pods may have to be a little longer. I don't know. We're going to play that by ear, I think, because a lot could change. We could end up designing something a little differently or whatever, or... Some of this is angled in terms of, um, you know, like you round off the edge or something and now it's not quite so wide. So I hate that. Come on. I really don't understand some of the uh, mechanics in Space Engineers when like you look this way, now the block disappears and stuff. It's like, uh, it's frustrating. Anyway. Or you keep clicking on it and it won't put, anyway. <clears throat> So, that'll be the frame for the width, I think. Um, and we don't really need this part up here anymore. 
So that's the only thing we're going to have to watch with this. Now, I am a little bit tired of dealing with the thrusters, so we're probably going to leave that for today and work on something else. Um, I'm voting... Let's leave that. So I'm going to vote for the hangar, maybe? Possibly? Something like that. Um, now, eh, maybe not the hangar. We might leave that for a minute. Um, one, one of the comments I had on my first video when we first kind of delved into Let's Build territory was potentially leaving the um, hangar here non-pressurized type of thing in, or, in order to uh, not have to fiddle fart around with the doors and all that kind of stuff, which is an, it's an option. It's something I'm considering because um, the shooting stars will obviously be pressurized, whatever ones are in here, so I wouldn't really need to, to have that. Um, it wouldn't necessarily have to be pressurized. Um, I'm also noticing a bit of a design flaw here. That if this is the connector, let me find one here. Um, if that's the connector, the conveyor will actually have to run up this way, not, um, not along this edge. So that's just kind of something random that I need to fix in this design. Actually, you know what? Like I said, we'll just go ahead and um, just go ahead and set this up now. Uh. I just realized another issue here. We've got a piston, or what's supposed to be a piston, to extend and retract this. But... I've got the conveyor line running around here. And that's not going to work. Uh, because the connector will have to be at the back of the piston. So... Once again... This is going to have to be a little redesigned. Now, I can follow um, the fuselage line and do something along this line. And then we'll put a connector here. And that could work. Uh, but once again, I just realized... Oh boy. Oh no. Kind of backed myself into a corner here. Um, let's connect that so that I can break that. And we can break this whole thing. Because this actually has to be shorter, like I just got done saying. And then completely ignored it. Stop it. Keeps placing stuff out into space. Booyah. There we go. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and get rid of this, because this isn't... Oh! Poop. Alright, well... <laughs> um... Hmm. <laughs> so what I didn't realize was that I did not actually leave room for the um, pistons. That's unfortunate. So let's actually just try this real quick and see if... Oh. It's that way. Um... Okay. This is getting finicky here. I can't... Is it because of the connector? Probably. Yeah, okay. So that would be that. Now... We would run... Did that get all of that? Yeah, okay, good. Oh, it didn't get this, though. So apparently mirroring cannot do pistons. That's unfortunate. Whatever. Okay, so then this would come down here. It's a little off. But I don't think it'll be an issue. it's too close. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I'm a dumb dumb. I'm I'm dumb. I'm dumb. This actually let's just get rid of this. This doesn't really need to be here anymore. This is supposed to be when it's extended. So if this is the ceiling. 
actually, you know what? Let's get rid of this guy, because I don't even know if I'd need that or not. Let's go... Man, everything's so laggy. I probably am do. It's probably because I'm doing this in a... a world kind of thing. What is going on? Why did it not connect to... Why is it going to a Gatling turret? Good grief. Um... I don't know which one of... You know what? Just extend them all, because I don't know which is which at the moment. Um, so if we do that... I may be able to redesign this, actually, depending on this structure. Because I do want them to be able to retract back into the ceiling. So, this will be in the ceiling, but I might have to go a little bit higher, because as it stands, these are just barely going to go past this point. Yeah, I'm going to need to redo this. Actually, I'm going to need to rethink this at some point, so I'm actually not going to do this right now, I don't think. Uh, because this needs to go higher. So, what we're going to do... Yeah, maybe we should. Because I kind of need to work my way backwards and figure out how this is going to go. So, uh, I need this... Oh, you know what I just thought of we could do is we could put it on a hinge to where it folds up into the ceiling. I wonder if that would work better. Ooh, ooh, ooh that might be fun. All right, so let's assume this is the ceiling. So let's go off of this. So I need, um, we don't really need this here. So let's put this here. We're going to run this. And rotate, please. Thank you. Like this. Like this. Where does it need to come out at? That's right. The merge block is here. And then the connector how far does a hinge sit? Come on, my game is so laggy right now. What's going on? Okay, so hinges are essentially a one block thing. So, I would need one block. Actually, that might work. No. No, it won't. I need it to be one more block. Okay. Then I need the hinge. Then, and then... I'm debating on whether or not I need a piston, or whether I can do it with just a control... Uh, co bleh, a closed, solid bar here. So if we're one down, we would need eight blocks and a connector. So... Can this go out eight blocks? And then the connector. So that could actually work. Let's try it. Because the less I have to rely on pistons and stuff, the better. Just because... Not because they're bad, just because they're a little finicky and, and prone to breakage. Um, Alright, let's test it with this one first. So, let's do hinge... Uh, we'll just grab them both, since I don't know which one is which. Um, reverse. Why are you not reversing? I thought I grabbed both of you. Reverse. Reverse, reverse! Okay. Um. <laughs> am, am I the only one that's confused by this? Oh, it doesn't have a velocity set. Okay, that's why. So let's do 0.5. Or maybe 0 0.05. Yeah, 0.5. That's going to take us all day. Um, Alright, hinge. And 0.5. Alright, so let's see what that does. Because if that could extend, then what we could do is leave it that way, and then... When we build the ceiling part, we can just build around this L, essentially. Though I am... Oh, that's going to hit. 
Okay, I need to be one block over. How about you? Okay, so that would work. That would work. But we need to be further over. Okay. Um, and then, what did we say it was? Out to here. One block, I think. Then a hinge. Definitely want it placed facing the right way. And then eight. Or was it... Hmm. Was it seven and then eight? I mean, seven and then a connector, or eight and then a connector? I think it was eight. That seems too far. We're gonna do it this way. Just see what we got. Okay. Um... <laughs> I don't have a control panel for anything. <laughs> okay. Let's just throw a seat down here, I guess, because I need something to access the hinge. Um, hinge... We'll set the RPMs to 0. 0.5. Uh, apparently they are facing the opposite directions. That's annoying. That's annoying. I'm gonna have to fix that. Actually, we're just gonna delete this one. And it occurs to me... Yep. Dag nabbit. I had mirror mode on. I forgot all about it. Oi. Alrighty, so I did a little bit more work. Um, I ran some preliminary conveyor lines around the, the ship just to give me an idea of maybe where things were going to go. I've also um, tried to read or tried to define, not redefine, I haven't defined it yet. Trying to find the shape a little bit more um, based on images and whatnot. So this area, this lander part area, is going to be kind of boxed off like this. I've got the four guiding posts, if you will, for the height and width of the um, arc, the thruster arc here. Obviously, this isn't going to go all that way, but, um, you know, it's going to be basically this high, coming out this point, and coming out at the bottom, yada, 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 yada. Um, then I kind of did this section here as if it was because it's supposed to taper down, although this area is going to kind of arc out and blend into this. So that's going to be a little longer. But the sides and the back are going to kind of uh, taper down. Though this shape down here where it meets this boxy area, that I may play around with a bit. And almost all of the box designs, air quotes, um, are going to end up being that kind of rectangular 45 degree angle, like this block right here is probably going to be a slope. And then this will be straight, that'll be straight, and then this will be like a corner, you know, stuff like that. Like I'm going to make them kind of rectangular pods. Um, so then it's going to go up like this, and I added a bit of a round curve here for two reasons. One, the ship overall fuselage in the picture is rounded in most areas. Um, but also, I wanted to see if I could encompass the, um, the, the hangar and where I've outlined, basically, and have an outer border, as this is the, the fuselage kind of thing. So the, the frame is what I have to work with, and the outside ring here is kind of cosmetic. Um, like I said, I don't know how I feel about the round edge thing. I know it's kind of the original base, but kind of like we did over here, this isn't really rounded. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards, I'm not sure I like this circle, or at the very least the angles that were chosen, like when I curved, when I expand, expanded and made the, the curve change. Either that or maybe go a little more rectangular with it. I don't know yet. Um, I do apologize for so many episodes turning into a Let's Play, but this was a lot bigger of a build um, than I originally thought it would. And and I also ended up having to um, impromptu help my cousin move and stuff, so I haven't had a whole lot of off time to work on this off camera to try and design a bit more of how I want it to look. I definitely feel like this tower is going to come down, though. 
Um, but I want to build the functional platform stuff up here. Maybe we'll do that next episode. Maybe we'll build the bridge. I'm not sure. Um, like I said, I am going to have a little bit of latency for the YouTube comments. Um, if you want to, and even really the, um, the, uh, Discord stuff in terms of you guys won't see this episode for a minute. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and test this out real quick while I'm talking, but um, if you have any ideas, insights, etc. and so on, uh, do feel free to leave a comment um, or message me on Discord or something like that, or leave a, a comment in the Discord room for the Let's Play room, whatever. Um, I'm going to test this out real quick and see if it damages it. It was damaged before, like the door and stuff, but I don't know if that was already existing in the blueprint. So, I know this scrapes. So now I want to see, does anything have damage? That doesn't, the connector doesn't, the sliding door doesn't. Okay, so I'm not seeing any damage. So I'm thinking that's going to work. That uh, when they're up, they're going to retract up into the ceiling. That saves us on having to use pistons and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, so in the meantime, let me know what you guys think in the comments, uh, but we're getting there. We're kind of chipping away at it. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.